Okay, here we go. Hello, everybody. This is Kat, aka Stitching Out Loud, on YouTube, Ravelry, and Instagram. Um, I just to let you guys know, I'm going to start adding dates to this, um, just for my own uh, for my own reasons, um, just so I could keep track better of what videos and stuff that I do. So today is Friday. June 1st, I believe, June 2nd, I think it's June 1st, um, <laughs> I should, yeah, I should probably check that before I start videotaping, right, I just know it's Friday, and it's the 1st of June, either the 1st or the 2nd of June, uh, of 2017 in case anybody ever watches this two or three years down the road uh, just got home and I had another box in the mail we went to go see uh, Wonder Woman it was released today oh so did, t today is June 2nd because it was released on June 2nd how do you like that keeping track of the dates by movie releases huh, that's awesome uh, so yeah uh, we went to go see Wonder Woman, and I loved it. Uh, but I have been a Wonder Woman fan since I was a young kid. Um, growing up in the late 70s and through the 80s. Um, I just, I know I'm dating myself, but I don't care. Um, I, I, I don't care who knows how old I am. I'm 47, so. Um, but I loved it. I, I thought it was really well done the story was kind of eh, it was it was kind of boring um but the the graphics and the acting and eh, it, was, it was good it was good i i loved it i would watch it and i would buy it i would watch it again and i would uh buy it on dvd just to keep watching it over and over um so anyways i have another unboxing i'm gonna do here I'm trying to, they put a lot of tape on it, so I was trying to cut it open. Um, and I also have a couple of things. Uh, I actually got off work early today, so I can go to the doctor. And um, it was the first time I went to this doctor, and uh, there was a Home Depot close to where he was at. And so I stopped by over there um, to pick up a couple of a couple of um, pots I'm, I, I am going strictly with terracotta pots and maybe you, my my um, coffee mug pots a few of my coffee mug pots but um, yeah I think it's just easier to it's the water or the rain water and watering them will drain a lot better with terracotta so I'm just going to stick to that um, so and I did pick up a couple of things I have been wanting one of these little guys for a while now this it's called a mimic, mimicry plant split rock um, I'm not sure how to say that but there's the like scientific name uh, I love these. I, um, sorry, I think an ant is biting me. Um, I love these little guys. Now, I don't care too much for the lithops. I think they look gross, but I, I, I like these split rocks. There's another one also called, um, uh, Royal Flush that I want to get. They didn't have any when I went today, but I just love these little guys. I think they look so neat and unique so I picked up him today and these will actually sprout I don't know if you've ever seen them they will actually sprout a flower um, right here from the middle just boop, come right up out of there um, so yeah we can see down inside uh, it reminds me very much of those plants from uh, uh, Super Mario Brother the ones that come up out of the pipes. It doesn't look anything like it, but it reminds me of that. <clears throat> and then I also picked up this guy. 
Oop. Now, I know you guys, most, some of y'all might remember that I had mentioned that I wasn't going to really get too deep into cacti, but if you guys ever get a chance, look up videos on, um, uh, let me see, what is it called? Oh, uh, videos on blooming echinopsis. And here, I'll, sh I'll show you. This is a Echinobivia. So, if you see right here, it says these are hybrids of crosses of Echinopsis species and Lobivia species. Hence the name Echinobivia. Now, the Echinopsis is just a round cactus, like a, a, a like a mammillaria. They're just the little, the little simple round ones. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Um, I had an ant just going at me on my on my ankle, so I had to do something about it. Okay, so anyways, um. So, um, I don't know why I was talking about the mammillarias. Oh, um, yeah, the Echinopsis kind of looks like a mammillaria. Just a round little, cute little bubble of a, of a cacti or a cactus covered in, covered in spikes or needles or whatever you want to call these. Um... But the Echinopsis, now the, the Mammillarias will have, they'll sprout little tiny flowers all around the top. And they'll have like a little crown of tiny, I, I've only seen, I think I've seen white flowers and very bright pink flowers, almost like a fuchsia color. And it was really, really cute when they, when they bloom. It just looks like somebody made like a little crown of flowers to put on top of their head. Um, now the Echinopsis will sprout one or two flowers at a time and they do it throughout the spring and summer at different times and they are big, bright, beautiful flowers. So if you ever get a chance, um, while you're on YouTube, look up, um, I, I know there's a video out there. I'll see if I can find it and link to it in the description. Uh, but there's a time-lapse video of all these different Echinopsis blooming. And the colors are just amazing. It's like watching a fireworks show almost. They are so beautiful. And those are the cactus that I would like to get. Those are the type of cacti that, I, that I'm looking to start collecting um, the different colors that they have um, and I'm gonna start looking into those those are the cacti that I really really want to have um, but yeah um, we'll see what happens with that but so anyways um, yeah so but I picked up this because I looked at it I saw it for across the table and I and I was like oh that looks kind of neat what kind is that? So I picked it up and I looked at it and when I saw, and it even says, it says right here, Rainbow Bursts, it says Rainbow Bursts are so named for their spectacular display of colorful flowers during the spring and summer. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, they they were trying to make a cactus that looks like this but have it bloom beautiful bright flowers like the echinopsis and I hope it really does that I'm looking forward to it so yeah and I, I think it just looks I don't know it just reminds me of like an accordion you know I love that so we'll see how that goes so I picked up that little guy um, so the unboxing I'm ready, I'm getting ready to do, I don't, uh, if I'm my last video, 
that I will post because I haven't posted it yet. Um, I spoke about uh, succulentsource.com or it might be the, suc the succulentsource.com. Trying to see if there's anything here. Now the, the the return address says the succulent source, but their website is the succulentsource.com or just succulentsource.com. Uh, they have a monthly subscription. Uh, you could do three months at a time, thirty dollars a month, um, and you can pay all it. You could pay for the three months ahead of time, or you could pay by the month. Um, and then they have a six months and a one year. And of course, the longer that you if you pay up front, the longer that you go, the cheaper it is, and if shipping is included. So I signed up for three months, and this is my first month that I'm getting these. So um, I can't wait to see what they send. It, and everything is, they, they don't tell you what's coming in the box. So everything is secret. So we will see what we got. So here's my box. And oh. Sorry about that, you guys. So I'm going to back this up a little bit so I can have a little bit more room. And let me see if I can do this without getting bubble wrap all over the place. I'm going to take a drink of water. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let me see. I should have done this before. And I hate these uh, packing peanuts. So, oh, can you guys see anything yet? I can't see anything. So, let's see. Let me dig around in here. That's my boy Hank. Oh, you know what? I guess I'll just have to chase peanuts all over the, the yard today. Okay, what do we got? Oh, let's see. He sent me a card. Make room for your new friends. Here we go. Oh. Succulents of the month. So, oh, that's nice. Learn more about these about these plants. So, let's see if there's where's their website. I don't see it. Oh, the succulentsource.com. Down there, way down here on the bottom. So this is cool. They give you a little card and you can go and make comments and read about your succulents that you get. Pretty nice, right? Uh, let's see. What did we get? Oh, the first one looks like a sedum. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have one of these. Graptovaria opalina. Ooh, look at that. And I love that they're still in the pot with dirt. So I don't have to do anything but put them out and enjoy them. How pretty is that? Oh, I love that. Yeah, I don't have one of these. And I've been eyeballing them. At, I've seen them at, um, of course, at Home Depot and uh, Walmart. But they don't look this nice. These look very unstretched and just well taken care of and of course they look a little dirty disheveled or whatever from shipping but this looks nice I love it oh got a little leaf here that fell out so propagation propagation time <clears throat> let's see what else we got oh yeah this one is a senum sedum Look at that. Sedum Hern Hernan Hernandezi. Sedum Hernandezi. And look how cute those are. Oh my god, they look just so plump and fat. They almost look like grapes. Oh I love this. This is so cute. I love that. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this one before. Sedum Hernandezi. Native to Pueblo, Mexico. Forms clusters of stems to four inches in height with leaves that have a cracked epidermis. Sorry. 
large star-shaped yellow flowers. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, can you see, can you guys see that? When they say cracked epidermis. In other words, the skin looks dry and kind of cracked. That is, that is pretty neat. Now see, I would have thought that that was a sign of just being unhealthy or it was too over, over watered or something. I wouldn't have thought that, like looking at it, just looking at it, I would not have thought that it was supposed to be like that. Oh, this is cute. I really like that. Really, really like that. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, this guy is all dirty. Look at him. <laughs> this is bear's paw. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll just... You guys can figure out how to say that. But there's the name if you want to write it down and go look for it. Bear's paw. But look, they look like little, little bear paws. With the little claws. Right? How cute is that? I've seen these and I just never, um, I don't know, not that I don't like them. I think et Echeverias are my favorite, but these just never really struck me, but I'm really glad I got one of these because I would have never, in all honesty, I would have never bought one, but it's really cute. Native to South Africa. Clusters of yellow, orange, bell shaped flowers in late spring. Wow, and I love that they give you a lot. They, they, they tend to give you a little bit more information than what, what you would see if you go to Walmart and just buy these. So that's really good. I really like that. To four inches plus taller. So, you know, it, it's really great. And it tells you when to water it. Water with caution in winter can lose roots if the soil stays cold and wet for too long. Summer dormant. So that means it's not going to grow much in the summer. So it would probably grow a lot more in the early spring and the fall. But yeah, look at I love these little guys. and They're so dirty. They got tossed around, didn't they? Look at that. A good bath and they'll, they'll look really nice. I love that. They look so cute. Okay, let's see what else we got here. This looks like a fanfare. No. Oops. Let me try and get some of this off of here. This... Is an Echeveria Mazarine. Echeveria Mazarine. Echeveria hybrid. Lovely rosette shaped plant. It can vary from green to a blue green, deepening to the amount or depending on the amount of light. Blah 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 about the soil. Look at that. Oh. So cute. This, I thought this was a fanfare at first. Uh, fanfares have a little bit uh, thinner. The, the leaves are a little bit thinner. But look at that. Oh, and look at that with the, uh, with the farina on it. All of that. Look at that blue. I find it amazing that if you were to wipe off all that farina, which you shouldn't do that. Um, because the farina actually helps to protect against the UV, the UV rays. Um, and even though these, a lot of these plants can, uh, stand up to the sun, uh, the farina is what helps them to be able to stand up to the sun. So, uh, yeah, you don't want to wipe the farina off. Um, so when you're planting it, the best thing to do is try and grab it from or when you're changing pots or whatever, grab it from underneath because of course the sun is what 
hits the, the it, it'll mostly hit the top. So you don't want to wipe off all that farina. Now, I've never actually done it. I've heard people say that they did it because they thought it was that that it was dirt or dust. Um, and it'll it'll probably make the plant your uh, um, your succulent um, it'll probably make it dry up faster or whatever. So yeah, you might you want to leave it as much as you can with or you want to leave it with as much farina as you can. But look at that. That is so pretty. That is so cute. Echeveria. I love Echeverias. Okay. And we got one last one. Uh -huh. I'm blowing on it to try and get as much dirt off of there as I can. This... I've seen these two and I'm like, oh, those are so cute. An Echeveria Dondo or Dondo forms a very compact rosette with bright orange bell shaped flowers that are golden yellow something. I don't know what that says. Golden yellow something. Yeah. So, up to three inches. But look at that. That is so cute. So, I'm going to leave these sitting out on the table tomorrow. So, they'll get a little bit of sun. How cute is that? Oh, my gosh. So tight. Those little bunches in there. I love this. This is really awesome. Um, because you don't know what you're getting. So if I end up getting something. That I already have. Um, it's great. Because then I could just give it to a friend. Or a family member. Um, yeah. So. You know what? Let me double check and make sure. I was just checking to make sure there was nothing else in the box. They were, they had a lot of packing peanuts in there. Um, but I just wanted to make sure there wasn't like, I don't know, some paperwork or like a, a bill or whatever, you know, like the, the my billing that uh, I would think should have been in there, but wasn't. So anyways, uh, so that was it. All of the stuff from succulents. Here, I'll line them up here for you. Excuse me. Succulent source. TheSucculentSource.com Go on over and check them out. They have some... And you can, I mean, if you don't want to um, join the club, you don't have to. You can just go and... And if you see, you know, if you want one of these guys, go and check it out and um, pick them up. And, yeah. Looks like they're really well, well taken care of. Put this little guy in there. Don't forget me. And, yeah. Check it out and enjoy. I love these little guys. Um, and I probably will give a couple away to a couple of friends of mine. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to say who. Because I want it to be a secret. But, so yeah. Um, those are all my little plants that I got. Still, I'm still in love with this Love's Light. I love that sucker. Um, so, post, uh, any questions that you guys might have, um, I hope that I, I will be able to answer, and, um, I actually had to, the other day I had to come out and move everything, I had plants all over the table, and I'll show you guys right quick, 
I had my, I don't know if you guys remember, I had my plants right over there underneath that tree where that chair is at. But I had to move them over there next to the, uh, the shed because it's supposed to rain every day this week at some point or another. So we, I had to figure out what to do with them. So we just moved the table over there and put that makeshift plastic covering so that it's kind of made like kind of a small greenhouse or whatever. I have to go back and tape it, tape it down some more. But um, this way they could still get light. Um, it's a clear, like a semi-clear plastic. So the light could just shine, the sun could just still shine through without getting too much direct sunlight and um, it's not enclosed so they're not going to swelter in the heat and if it happens to rain there they'll be covered up um, the other ones that I had here I'm going to turn you guys around that I had here on the table are all right here I just stacked up some milk crates and put everything here and these will be actually I think they'll they'll probably be happier there They'll still get sunlight, not too much direct sunlight, and if it happens to rain hard enough, they will actually still be able to get a little bit of rain. Um, so yeah. I think I almost killed a couple of plants because I just, I figured, well, you know, it's Houston, it'll rain and it'll dry up. And it'll rain and then it'll dry up. Well, no. I forget this is May and it tends to rain the Sun will come out and then it'll rain again and the next day it'll rain again <laughs> so trying to keep those together and um, yeah trying to keep them from from dying on me so oh and uh, one other thing that I'd like to mention and I hope it's not too disturbing for people um, I do have um, I have been fighting with eczema for the past three or four years now and right now it's not horrible at all I actually I'm I'm on medication for it um, and I do have a medicated prescription cream and whatnot but I still have I still have outbreaks so um, you can see I have you know like some cuts there and it does me no good to put band-aids or anything because they just sometimes they itch um, and I just, you know, I live with it. It's not, believe me, this is not bad at all compared to what I have had. You can see here, and that's really, my fingers look a little fat because of that. They're a little swollen from, it just, I don't know, it looks a little irritated. Like you can see all the little bumps. You can, it's it looks a little irritated but it's not it doesn't really bother me that much except for that it my hands look a little swollen or my fingers look a little swollen but that's um, that's eczema for you um, but yeah so if <laughs> if I uh, hold my hand up and you see you know like cuts and all these wrinkly that's from my eczema you can see my thumb looks pretty bad right now. I mean, it, I don't know if you can see that. It looks bad, but it doesn't, like, it doesn't bother me. It's not, it, I actually get blisters way deep inside, and they will, but you can actually see it right, one right there on my, I don't know if you can see it, but, um, sometimes they're really itchy. But once they start to surface, the skin breaks and it's not, it's, it doesn't hurt. It's not contagious. It's just um, an autoimmune thing. So, yeah, it's not, it's, you know. So, I, I just wanted to let you guys know that, yeah, that's, that's why my hands look like that. If you've ever wondered. Um, but, yeah, I'm living through it. It's, like I said, I'm on medication and I got creams and I got you know, eczema association approved lotions or whatever kind of stuff, you know, so I'm working through it. It's, it's not, it's, it's not anything horrible right now, but I just wanted to let you guys know if you ever wonder 
why my hands look like that. That's what it is. So, okay, anyway, other than that, um, that's about it for today. I do have an, I'm still waiting for my order from Fairy Blooms, so uh, when that comes in, I'll be doing another unboxing. So, look out for that. I'm really excited because um, there's a couple of things that I really, really have been eyeballing for a while, and they were doing their Memorial Memorial Weekend um, sale, so it was 20% off uh, of your order, which is not a lot, but I mean, it was enough to make me go over and check it out and see that they had a couple of things that I really wanted, so I picked them up, and... So anyways, uh, that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys have a really good weekend. Go check out Wonder Woman if you're a fan. Um, or if you're just a DC fan in general, it was, it was a pretty good movie. I know some people are like, well, it's not Superman and it's not Batman. And it's just Wonder Woman. But I think from from the television show that I watched, um, she, they, they took this Wonder Woman above and beyond. I loved Linda Carter. I loved watching that show. Um, but they really, they really powered up Wonder Woman and I liked it. You know, I, I thought it was awesome because it put her on a scale with all the other superheroes, with all the other male super superheroes that um, that are out, you know, like like Superman and Batman. Um, so yeah, go check it out. I loved it. Let 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 me know what you guys think about it. I would love to hear. Um, so, anyways, you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next unboxing. Bye.